Welcome back to the airboat build. In order to winch this boat onto the trailer, it needs a hook. So that's the plan, is uh, build a hook, bolt it to the front. I'll also put a couple on the back, a couple on the side. The hooks are gonna be uh, all stainless steel and uh, I'll try to make them strong enough to actually work. So these are the tie down attachments I've made. This is the main one, so this will go on the bow. This is the one that has to be able to support the entire weight of the boat as it's being winched under the trailer. So I think it's gonna be pr uh, plenty strong. It's all stainless, it's quite, uh, that bar there's quite rigid. Now obviously this is gonna get bolted through the hull, so through the, uh, the plate aluminum. And then most of it actually is gonna go through the aluminum channel that I'm using for the chines. And that's this like one inch aluminum channel. So basically there'll be like channel there, channel there. These will go through and then I have this stainless bar stock on the other side. That's just kind of extra support and of course it'll all be bolted. I'm using these grade eight bolts right now. I might switch them out for stainless at some point but uh, this is what I have right now. And then there's only two spots where it isn't through the channel, so it's just through the plate, and then I just have kind of these extra things that will also be on the back side just to help kind of distribute the force. So between all those, uh, I think that'll be plenty strong. Other parts on the boat, I have these other uh, attachment points. These ones will go on the side. Obviously these are for areas that won't require quite as much load and there's more of them, so much more redundancy. I think I'll put these ones on the back of the boat. They'll be plenty strong, I think. Well, if they're not, then I'll just redo them. So now I'll just basically, uh, well actually on these ones as well, I will have a stainless bar on the back side as well. So basically it's gonna be stainless sandwiching aluminum for all these attachments, attachment points. This is the steering mechanism. So there's a control lock 
obviously that comes out. And then we have the steering tiller or bar, whatever it's called. The main part here is all stainless steel. There's a bearing on each side. It's pretty solid in there. And then this aluminum frame is made to bolt into the bolt, into the boat. There's a pretty good blizzard outside right now, so I'm not gonna bolt it in right now, but that's basically how that's gonna work. As you can see, I got the airboat on the trailer. The problem is we've had quite a bit of snow lately and the weather just hasn't been that good for working on it outside and I've been tied up with other projects. So anyway, those are the excuses. I have the rudders on and the project today is working on the steering mechanism. So this is the steering tiller. It works quite smoothly. I had to curve it so that my hand wouldn't jam into the dashboard. In retrospect, if I would have moved this over just a little bit, that would have been easier. But anyway, I'm pretty happy with that. I have a cable here, connects to there. I'll build a, I'll, I'll space that out more properly. And then I built this support structure for the, the cable. Now the cable obviously will go back to the rudders. I don't have that connected yet. That'll be the next thing to do. But it's a nice uh, smooth mechanism. I'm pretty happy with how that is. Now this control cable, I ordered that directly from Midwest Control. And uh, the reason I ordered from them was basically because the uh, airboat shops wouldn't ship to Canada. They had, uh, most of them wouldn't do it at all. And the ones that did wanted ridiculous prices, like $150 just to ship a cable. So anyway, I ordered direct from Midwest, which I believe is the supplier for a lot of the airport shops anyway. And um, the price was basically half and the shipping was very reasonable. So if anybody out there is looking for any kind of cable like this, Midwest control products, I would recommend them. So I am losing light for today. The next step will be getting the back end of this connected to the rudders and then the steering will be completely done and then it's uh, time for a test drive. Thanks for watching.